All right, it's time for the uh, 2022 Ambassador of the Year Award. The Ambassador Award is presented to an individual who has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities towards the advancement of the region. Uh, recipients of this award are true leaders within the community. Past recipients have included Kathy Nesset from Nesset Consulting, uh, Lieutenant Governor Brent Sanford, Ken Callahan, MDU, and last year's winner, Terry Olson. Tonight's nominees include Chris Brostwin. Thank you. And Larry Grundahl. Roll the tape, please. For over 34 years, Chris Bristuin has worked for Mount Trail Williams Electric and is the Public Relations and Communications Manager. As a member of the Corner Lions Club, Chris was recognized as a Melvin Jones Fellow for dedicated humanitarian services. In 2013, Chris was appointed to the Williston City Commission to fill a vacated midterm seat and was officially elected in 2014, holding the position of Water, Sewer, Airport, Building and Planning Commissioner. Chris has also served on the Board of Directors as Chairperson and Director for many Williams County organizations, such as Williston Basin Skating Club, Williston Star Fund, and Williston Area Chamber of Commerce. Larry Grondahl has spent most of his life in the Williston Parks Department. Starting in 1972 as a part-time employee and moving up to superintendent from 1980 to 1988, he has been elected to the Williston Park Board five times from 1990 to 2012, serving both as vice president and president before retiring in 2012. But retirement has not slowed Larry down. Many organizations, such as Williston Boys Baseball Committee and North Dakota Babe Ruth Baseball, have benefited from his passion to help bring the Babe Ruth World Series to Williston, which was held in the city for the fifth time this year. Tonight's 2022 Ambassador of the Year Award winner is Chris Brostewing. Congratulations. Well, that's a, that's a shocker. I'm uh, I'm uh, blown away to be uh, totally honest about the uh, the award. I am uh, deeply honored and full of gratitude to uh, to receive this honor as the Ambassador of the Year. Uh, before I go any further, I do want to congratulate congratulate Larry Grundahl and and uh, thank him for all that he does for our community as well. So. Thank you, Larry. Just in case I did win, I did prepare a little sermon here just in case, but hopefully uh, hopefully, I don't have to refer to it too much. Uh, for anybody that really knows me, they know that I uh, try to avoid the limelight. I don't uh, like to... Uh, be in the limelight taking too much credit for what I do and what I what I uh, what I love to do for the city of Williston and the region but uh, tonight the uh, limelight caught up with me and uh, it's it's quite a feeling and uh, quite an honor to uh, to receive this award so thank you to the uh, nominating committee and the selection committee for uh, giving me this award like I said a, a, lots of gratitude and honor. Uh, I'd also just like to echo the thank yous that uh, we've heard this evening for all those that have put on this great event. Uh, the meal was unbelievable. I, it blew me away. So and the program, it's just, it's just unbelievable what, what, uh, what this event has grown to be. And like Mayor Klug said, it's one of the one of the best events of the year. So, thank you to all that uh, that uh, helped put it on, and just hearing all the entrepreneur spirit and the success stories just energizes a person, and you can't help but feeling good about uh, Williston and, and the region. As you've heard, a lot of these uh, the, a lot of the success stories that we've heard tonight, and the uh, the successful businesses and, and organizations. They were very fortunate to have the, uh, the assistance, the help of uh, Williston Economic Development, the Small Business Development Center, and the STAR Fund. So I just want to thank uh, Sean and Keith 
and all the staff, uh, Barb and Brenda and uh, Serena, for all the work that they do to uh, move Williston in and the region in the right direction and make it a, a great community to do business, to work, and uh, live in and raise families. And speaking of families, before I forget, I need to, uh, I need to recognize my family that's at the table down here in front. Uh, none of them like limelight either, but I'll, maybe they can at least uh, give a little wave to the, to the, to the audience. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank my uh, lovely wife, best friend, uh, spouse, wife of 38 years. She, uh, she keeps me grounded and uh, gives me a lot of love and support. Uh, couldn't, do, couldn't do what I've done without her. And also at the table is my daughter, Jenna, uh, my son, uh, Colton, and his wife, Kelsey. Uh, the, uh, they've always given me a lot of love and support, and I, uh, I thank them for all that. Uh, And through the use of technology, our other daughter, Sierra, and her husband, Casey, they're out in uh, suburban Billings, Montana, in the community of Shepherd, Montana, watching, uh, hopefully watching the event uh, uh, on YouTube or, or some streaming advice or a device. So thank you for that as well. Uh, once again, uh, you know, a lot of these success stories wouldn't have happened without the economic de development staff. And I'd also like to thank uh, Mayor Klug and I can't say uh, fellow city commissioners anymore, but I'd like to thank uh, Howard, Howard and, and the city commissioners and all the Williston, uh, city of Williston staff and uh, employees that all pitch in to make, uh, like I said earlier, the... Uh, community, a great place to do business, work, live, and uh, kudos and th thank you to all, those, to all those people. As I think about this ward, it, uh, it has a lot, of, uh, a lot of meaning to me. Uh, I think one of the greatest meanings to me is all the great memories that I'll have working on many, many great great projects in the community and the region. And it, you know, the, the airport project was probably the pinnacle of projects that I was uh, blessed to work with. But it goes all the way down to uh, preparing a Corner Lines hamburger grilling event and, and what that means to several organizations and the people in the community. And uh, it'll just be a lot of memories that, that go along with that award. And the award will also uh, serve me some motivation, knowing that uh, my job in the community and the region is not over. There's still things that I can do in uh, many different ways, and, I, and I'll take that, take that challenge on. And finally, I'd like to, I'd like to thank Montreal Williams Electric Co-op for giving me the opportunity to do what I've done in the community and the region for over 35 years. Uh, without their uh, dedication and, and uh, service to members, our members and, and our communities, I wouldn't be standing here today. So I, I thank you, uh, MWEC. Just... Uh, I, just, I did want to touch on one project. I wasn't going, to, wasn't going to touch on a bunch of projects, but when I heard Seth Coughlin talking about the, uh, the funeral home and the addition of cremation services to their, to their, uh, their services, uh, Montreal Williams has a revolving loan fund that uh, we put some money into that project and uh, we were very happy to do it because of the impact on, on the community and the region. And I remember visiting with people, they'd ask me, well, what kind of projects are you working on today? And I said, you know, I'm working on a real neat one. 
I said, I'm working on a crematorium with a local funeral home. And they, uh, they said, you're doing what? I said, yeah, I said, we're working on a project to bring cremation services to Williston. And they were just blown away. And, you know, after, the, after that, I thought, man, you couldn't, you couldn't write something like that. I mean, cremation services in an electric co-op? I mean, it, it just, it was just, uh, just crazy, but it's just, it's just, it's just, a, a, it just represents what you can do in the community if you, if you got the right uh, players together and, uh, and how successful it could be. And, you know, when you talk about, when you talk about projects and memories, you know, I, I, I'll remember the, uh, I'll remember the projects but I also remember the many great teams of great, wonderful people that love Williston and the region as much as I do. Uh, you know, we gets a lot more projects done successfully than I, and I've worked with a lot of good, good we people, and uh, we've done a lot, of, a lot of good things in the community. Just to share uh, one story before I, I leave the stage, uh, back in late 1987, I was just a new co-op employee. I knew a lot less than I thought I did. Uh, I think I even had kind of a mullet. Uh, <laughs> business on front, party in the back, but... Uh, I was uh, privileged to hear Bob Berglund speak at a, at a conference that had... There was... Uh, electric co-op directors and employees there. And if, for the younger people in the audience, they probably don't know who Bob Berglund is, but uh, Bob Berglund was a farmer from Roseau, Minnesota. He served on the, uh, he was a U.S. representative from Minnesota. And uh, he also served as President Jimmy Carter's Secretary of Agriculture. Anyway, that day he was addressing, visiting with the, uh, directors and employees, telling them what their role was as electric co-op uh, people, what their role was in their communities to make their communities the best places to live and work, and how important quality of life was. And after some, you know, real thoughtful discussion, he concluded his, his talk by just saying, by just stating the simple phrase, we're good neighbors. And that phrase, we're good neighbors, has stayed with me right to this very day. It's uh, driven me what I, what I, passion I have for the community, the co-op. And uh, when I look around the audience this evening, there's a lot of good neighbors out there. And I've been fortunate enough to work with a lot, of, a lot of these good neighbors. And going forward, I just encourage everybody to uh, stay good neighbors, take care of your neighbors, whether they're next door, across the street, across town, or anywhere in the region. And if we take good care of our neighbors and serve as good neighbors, the region will continue, Williston will continue to grow and prosper. So. With that, I thank, uh, I thank Williston Economic Development, uh, Small Business Develop Development Center, the Star Fund for, for all they do. And uh, I thank all of you for what you do in the community. And uh, thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening.